All right, guys, we're back. Get a little bit more done on this rocket mass heater. Yeah. Get it done. We've got it all welded up. Oh, welded and soldered right there. Don't fall off or anything. Got our clean outs on. Kind of hard to get out though. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good snug fit there. We've also got this, uh, this line drawn out. And that's how big we want the rocket mass heater. That's where our earthen material, if we were going to use our earthen material, that's where that one would go in our bench that's sitting on top. So we're going to use a concrete and sand yeah, mix. Yeah, concrete and sand mix. We're going to mix it kind of thick. So it doesn't so it doesn't go over the line. Yeah, we don't want it to pour out. We want it to be able to form it up with just using gloves on our hands and pack it in. Uh, normally for a rocket mass heater, you would be using cob, but... We don't have all that yeah. material here. Cob is like a earthen material, like clay, kind of mixed in. You yeah. soak it up, make it nice and thick, and you pack it around. Um, that way, if you wanted to go back and make a dip in your bench, you could just put some water down on the cob and soften it up, sc scoop it out, maybe move it over a little bit, make it a little more comfortable to sit on, and then let it dry out. With concrete, you can't do that. With the traditional cob, you could. So that's one part we won't be, be able to do. We won't be able to reform it later because it's concrete. But we're going to pour about an inch thick concrete down and then set this on top of it. This wood right here would represent a, a wood floor in a house and you want to protect that floor from your hot pipes. So put a little, put a little cushion there. Cushion. Yeah, a little one inch thick cushion of concrete. So we're going to go ahead and get that kind of started. Get a nice little slab built up here. Set the rocket mass heater in there. and level these pipes out so these are still both going uphill and then we'll uh we'll tune back in and make another little clip show you guys how far we've gotten all right guys we're back took a bunch of uh still shots of this in process because it's a little hard to do a video clip every time you do a little step. So our first step here is the basic foundation or the first layer of concrete we put down. It's about an inch thick and it's something for the rocket mass heater to sit on top of to insulate the floor from the extreme heat of the, the burner. So you can kind of see the layout of it. We followed the, the lines that we drawn out before you can see where the where the clean outs are. You can see how long the burn chamber is. As you get a little bit further into the process, the second layer, this was done in three layers. The second layer was about an inch and a half thick and it just covered the the tubes, just as high as the tubes the exhaust tubes that went across the bench. And then the third layer came across and filled it the rest of the way up and we smoothed that out as the best we could. And the concrete is it is mixed very thick. It's a mud type consistency. I mean it doesn't when you squeeze it in your hand it doesn't want to squeeze through your fingers. So it's very thick concrete. But we smoothed it out pretty good. In these last pictures here, you can see where the bell, the big metal cylinder, goes over top of the exhaust there to kind of seal it. And then it, it goes down through the square exhaust and, and across through the bench. We're back with a final product here. Got a rocket mass heater done the best we can do it for the small scale that it is. Yeah. Um, it is a little bit different than what we talked about. We didn't put a removable cap on here. 
Um, uh, the whole thing just comes off. Yeah. We do have some insulation, some exhaust pipe wrap that I had in the garage, so we just kind of wrap that to insulate it. Uh, we did have some, some trouble with the burn chamber and it burning. So we had to do a little troubleshooting. And we found that we needed to make the heat riser and the bell taller so they would have more of a vacuum as the heat burns through. So we made a little, little step up here and uh, welded an extension on the uh, heat riser. Of course, you can't see it because we wrapped it. But uh, I think it turned out all right. It burns pretty decent. It's not a perfect rocket mass heater, but I've never built one before. You ever built one before? No. No? You sure? Yeah. Yeah? All right. First time. One thing we did learn is uh, pay attention to your dimensions. There are certain dimensions for the height of this, the length of the burn chamber, the size of the bell and the heat riser. So, might see if we can get fired up and get a little video of the, mm -hmm. the wood burning sideways inside there. It does tend to burn a little better with this clean out cap off. I think it gets more airflow. Yeah. So, a little walk around too. Clean out caps over here. Pretty snug fit. Still very moisturized though. Yeah, the concrete's still fresh. So it's, eh, get in there. Get it? <laughs> there you go. Good snug fits on those. They don't, they don't get too much smoke out of them. Yeah. So. <coughs> Other than a couple little mistakes we made in some dimensions, Pretty fun project. Yeah. Had a lot of fun making it. So let's get this thing fired up. See if we can get a little video of that. Yep. It's starting to get going there. A little fire going in there. See how the flames getting yeah. sucked into that chamber over there. Mm -hmm. kind of how it works. You get the dimensions better. I'm sure if you built more than one of these you get them pretty good. So building a smaller one's a little bit more of a chore. Yeah. But we got it to work a little bit. So hope you enjoyed the videos. Thanks for watching them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see more videos, more projects. Take it easy.